Nice, I love that we can see these one. The fantastic setup. Sort of. Nice and lovely. Welcome back in the kitchen again with Chef Ricardo cooking. Anyway, today we're gonna make you Jamaican banana fritters. All right. When you have, man, you know my daughter said, Daddy, you need to chop them in the bin. Chop them in the bin. I said, No, I'm gonna make some banana fritters with these. And there's only four fingers of banana I have at the moment. But what I'm gonna do? Simple. I'm gonna remove the skin from them. And the most important thing when you move the skin from the banana, you need to crush it, guys. Seriously, give it a nice, lovely crush. Um, right, banana is popular in Jamaica. Um, some Caribbean restaurant in England do do the same thing. But to be honest, it's one of the most popular thing in Jamaica, for sure. Um, I did it probably one time on my YouTube channel. But I don't quite remember... Yeah, I did it, yes, oh, when I did it, but I know I did it on my YouTube channel before. So as you can see, that's the right banana right there, guys. Lovely and nice. And I'm going to show you how you can make yourself some lovely ripe banana flitters. First of all, you need to crush your banana. That's one of the main things you need to do. Crush it, use a fork and crush it till it get really soft here yeah? that's one of the main thing you need to do guys nice and lovely so guys what you have to make sure it once you crush your banana is brilliant that's the most important thing what you need to do second thing we need to add some sugar to the banana remember four fingers of right double right banana one two three four four tablespoon to four banana lovely and simple give it a little whisk with your spoon i'm using my wood spoon The next thing what we're gonna do, we're gonna use plain flour. A lot of people use self-rising flour to make Jamaican right banana fritters, but for me, I'll use plain flour. And as I said, you can try your, your self-rising flour if you do like, but I like to use plain flour. And I'm gonna just add a cup of plain flour inside of it like this. Nice one. Give it a little stir. So this is all you want your dough to look. You don't want your dough to be runny like you're making porridge. No. You want a nice lovely dough, alright? Um, second thing, we're gonna add some vanilla essence that could be added before. A pinch of vanilla essence and also a pinch of cinnamon. Lovely and nice. I got some mixed spice, pinch of mixed spice. That's to bring in the flavor, you know, when you're making. And also, some grated nutmeg egg, that's a pinch also. All of these things just give it the flavor. And also a pinch of salt. Just a little pinch of salt, not too much. 
because you don't want it to be salt, alright? Give it a nice lovely stir. Look at that guys, that is excellent, 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 excellent guys. And as you can see, now what we're going to do, we're going to show you how to fry this. That's the amazing part, alright? Lovely and nice. Nice and lovely. Welcome back again guys, as you can see, now we finished that section with that lovely mixer of the banana, banana fritters. Now right over here, as you can see, I got some oil inside of my frying pan right here. And as you can see, the amount of oil is not a lot of oil because I don't like, you know what I mean, you're going to suck up the oil and all the thing that. So what basically what I'm going to do, I'm going to start to drop some in the because I got my oil about 3 to 4 minutes now. So probably a little bit hot at the moment. But um, basically I might have used a bigger spoon to take up this lovely, lovely banana flitters. Alright? So this is the first one which I'm putting in at the moment. Number, that's the second one. And that's the next one. That's where I come from. Lovely. So as you can see exactly where we are all about with this Jamaican. A lot of people don't know how to make it, but you know what I mean? We just shame for shame with you say when you have banana and them things that you don't need to put that in the bin. There are things which you can do with it. Like my chef thought of doing it at the moment. Medium size eat, that is brilliant for it. As you can see, that's a lovely, nice, lovely medium size eat at the moment. So as you can see, that looking lovely and nice. So basically what we're going to do, simply turn it over to the other side and we want to get that lovely goldish colour. It takes a lot of oil but the only thing what you need to do is to make sure that you put it on a piece of a napkin where the napkin is going to be suck out the whole of those lovely oil out of it. So it's good to use an olive oil, healthy oil. Some people use whatever oil because some people just love banana flitters. Like something really nice, sweet, and full of flavor and taste. Alright? So guys, please be careful. You can see. And I'm trying them on a medium size eat. Lovely and nice. That's looking lovely, isn't it? Nice and lovely as I can see. These one looking fantastic. So now these are finished. So basically, I'm gonna take them out now. This is just lovely and nice. Just look at that, guys. This is just perfect. Really nice, lovely, beautiful. You can have it with so many different things. But I'm just simply showing you exactly where Chef Ricardo is all about with this banana fritters today. So these are finished. Enjoy the recipe. Thank you so much for watching my cooking show. We're going to put them on a napkin and show you what next you need to do. Nice and lovely guys. As I can see, this is how we do it. Set them on a piece of a napkin and make the grease come out of it. As you can see, these are just these finish and these are just lovely and nice. And you know what I mean, the even longer you put on it, all of the grease will definitely come out. But basically, this is how the normal is served. Just like this, guys. I'm gonna give you a little idea, little tips of things that you can do with it also. Um, this is just leave this one. So let's use this one. Oh, yeah, nice. So basically, you could just put them like this on a plate and simple pop a little bit of sugar on top of it like this just to give it a little colour 
So as you can see, that look it's so lovely and nice. And if you got garnish, you could garnish it with something. But you know, I'm just showing you exactly what you can do with your flit test. No banana fried flit test, guys. So enjoy the recipe, subscribe to the channel, and see you next time. Thank you so much for watching Chef Ricardo Cooking Show. See you next time.